In today's class, we're going to be talking about market research. By the end of the class, you will be able to define the objective of your marketing paper. One of the unique things about this class is the way that I put it together. On one side, you have the textbook, which is very vocab based and just kind of hardcore terminology. Me personally, I don't feel like that is that useful in real life, especially once you graduate and you get a job. And so the class and the lectures, as you know, are all built around building a marketing plan. And so today's topic is understanding the objective of that marketing plan. What is the, so let's begin talking about market research. The definition of market research is market research gives us the data, the facts, the voice of the customer. So marketers can make decisions based on information, not just guessing. Market research is the backbone of any successful marketing plan. If you don't have quality market research, you're basically just guessing. Doesn't mean you're going to get wrong. No, I mean, everyone can go to the casino and still win a lot of money, or you can play the lottery and you can still win. That's essentially what you're doing. But to be successful time and time again, you have to have high quality market research. You've heard lots of statistics, like one in 10 businesses fail in the first year because it's so difficult. They often will say that of those that do succeed, one in 10 of them will actually make it five years. It's so difficult to make a new business or a new product. To tilt the odds in your favor, you have to have high quality research. And the problem is oftentimes research feels very tedious and not that enjoyable. And you just feel like I can go on my hunch and will be successful. But then as you go down the road, you start to realize your hunch is incorrect. Your hunch often is incorrect. And that's what makes marketing or starting a business so difficult because you really, really have to have thorough research and understand that research to become successful. So the first part of today's lesson, we're gonna just do some basic vocabulary that goes into market research. That's very important vocabulary that you need to know whether you're in marketing, finance, it doesn't matter what kind of background you're in, you need to know this type of vocab. So there's two types of research. You have primary and you have secondary research. The large majority of the papers you've ever written in college are all based on secondary research. Secondary research is research that's already been done. Someone did it before in the past, and so you're looking it up on Google, you're going to the library, you're pulling that research, and you're using someone else's research to support objective that you're looking to solve. The reason most of us do secondary research is it's quick, it's free, or it's very affordable, and it's easy to understand. It doesn't take a long time. Compare that to primary research, which is research that you're doing specifically for this problem you're trying to solve or the objective you're looking to solve. As you can imagine, that takes a long time, it takes a lot of money, and it takes a lot of resources. Primary research is very long and slow, and so companies or students like yourself don't have the resources, time, energy, or money to thoroughly do it well, and so for that reason, you choose to do secondary research. In this class, I would love for you to do primary research, but most of the research you're gonna do in this class will be based on secondary research. You'll spend some time in Google, maybe go to the library, but the large majority of it will be secondary research. The second two vocabulary words are qualitative and quantitative. We're gonna do quantitative first. In very simple terms, quantitative data means numbers. If you've ever seen the movie Moneyball, That's the perfect example of using quantitative data. So nowadays, quantitative data has completely taken over the industry. People and companies are all focusing their energy on getting analytics. We've all heard of the word big data. That comes from the analytics. Sports have all gone the crazy way of looking about analytics. Everything is analytics based because people want to break things down into numbers and look for patterns in those numbers to try to improve their business, especially if you're in the online world. As you know, we sell Catherine Gin on Amazon and Amazon gives us tons of data that we use and we try to crunch all those numbers looking for different trends or patterns to help improve the sales of our products because this allows us to understand our customers better. This website for jeans just saved a cookie onto my browser. That's it. A string of letters and numbers that form a unique ID to help the site remember me. 
The sites you visit do this too. That's what all those pop-ups are telling you. Cookies actually make our online world possible, but they also allow genes to follow me around the internet. That's because cookies enable companies to band together to track and remember everything we do online, and they've become the center of a war for our personal data. 